From your local election headquarters, this is Big Country Politics on KTAB. All right, welcome back to Big Country Politics. And you heard in the last segment uh, for the yes side of the bond issue, next week we will hear from the opposing side. Well, if you're driving down I-20 towards the key city, there's something new to look for, a billboard declaring Abilene as the storybook capital of America. This is exciting news for Abilene, where we used to be known as the storybook capital of Texas, but now we have earned recognition becoming a national icon. The news shares at the Hearts of the Arts Luncheon today, in addition, to the title, October 17th is now known as the storybook capital of America Day for the key city, all, all to celebrate Abilene's love for reading. People love the idea that our whole focus is on storybook and reading and families being together. So I think that is exactly what Abilene wants to represent and, and does represent. One of the major elements that brings the storybook characters to life, of course, is the storybook garden outside the convention center. The newest addition to the garden will be Mr. Tigger from uh, from Peter Brown's uh, Mr. Tigger, oh, Mr. Tiger Goes to Wild, which is set to display during the children's art and literacy, literacy, literacy festival. I can't get that word out next summer. All right, that does it for this edition of Big Country Politics. Remember, the latest political headlines are always on BigCountryHomepage.com and join us next Sunday, same time, same place for Big Country Politics. Thanks for watching.